Another test drive from Maple Motors. This is a 1972 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck, 350 power steering, power brakes. A little bit different in this video here, as in it'll be a little quicker than normal. I won't have all the extra scenes. Basically, we're just going to show drive time and then picking out the flaws. I'll also take time to do the undercarriage shots and show everything underneath in slow motion. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping located at maplemotors.com. And of course, after this week, I can go back to the normal videos. All right, guys, hit subscribe, share. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, look around the interior and check some stuff out. Place your bad Steve. Think the horn works? Coming across the dash. It's all right, you do got some glue type stuff there that should come off let's go ahead and start it up and across your gauges batteries charging engine temperatures working its way up oil pressure on this one also gas gauge hey we don't have to stop and get fuel hear anything going on with the blower motor so we're gonna say it's not working we're gonna try the wipers and they do work and look at the interior turn signals left side well was well, blinking and quit right side also cutting on but not blinking itself all right guys let's go ahead and wait till these guys get across from me before I try this horn if it works, it's going to be loud. Nope, they didn't have nothing to worry about. Horn needs to be hooked up. Let's hit the road to see what else we can find. Okay, guys, I'm all situated in here. There's no seat belts, so that's something that'll have to be added to this truck. Like I said, we're going to get a few shots on it, but I'm not going to do all the extra scenes. And the main reason for that is we're not going to be closed. Uh, I mean, we're not going to be open most of the week. We're going to be closed the second portion of the week, actually from tomorrow on. So we've got a family issue going over, and then we'll be back on Monday. We're also going to the big car show this weekend. I'm not. Uh, it'll be my uncle's, which we're all family. So here we go. Gas pedal feels a bit stiff. good but man this thing's got a right pull you see that I'm having to steer left as I'm driving down the road see it pulling there what happens when I floor it see it's decent getting into the brakes the brakes feel okay speedometer is not working at all it hasn't came up at all on this one So I do not think it's going to do anything. By now it should have came up. I don't think the flashes are working on the turn signals. So I'm manually flashing my turn signals back there. And like I said, this video would be a little bit shorter. But I will cover all the main aspects. I just want to get as many done as I possibly can today. So you know what is wrong with the vehicles and get these things online for you all right i'm gonna pull in this parking lot and get some outside footage 
and do the walk around. The suspension feels a little bit stiff, but we'll be going over that right after this. Let's rock and roll. Heading on back to the lot. There's a reverse for you. Neutral and drive. on this one it is bumpy it's quite bumpy actually but really bouncing everywhere when we hit the bump on the street over here you can definitely tell you can hear it too squeaking brakes are great no issues there Throttle pedal is definitely stiff on this one, needs to be lubed up. This is the road with the bump in it. I'll point it out, you give her a listen. Oh yeah, you can definitely hear it that time. Yeah, it's real bumpy in this thing. And again, you gotta manually flash your turn signals. The flasher is just not working. I was seeing if it had like a touchy range, cause that left signal flash at first before we left when I was checking it well I'm getting ready to pull back into Maple Motors I'm gonna skip over to picking out the flaws now because when I get back to the lot I'm grabbing another car and taking off for my fourth test drive of the day I'm gonna try to get six done it's three o'clock wish me luck all right let's pick out the flaws 
front bumper on this one. The chrome looks good. A little spot here in the corner. I think that'll come off. Maybe not. Looks like a little scuff. The trim up here has got some issues around your headlights. About chips and dings. Overspray right here. Well, that's not overspray. This is a patina style paint job. It's on the whole truck, as you can see. So, dimples up front. Set of Riddler wheels. Little crack there in the corner. Door gap a little bigger than I'd like. But yeah. And you do got to shut it firm on this one. It's been two vehicles today. I have to shut the door firm. It needs to be greased up. Front windshield looks pretty solid. Same with the trim. Pitting on your mirror there. Seal there's got cracks in it, pitting on your chrome. Glued it up a little bit there, front. Back window, decent shape trim, looks good. back here chip Other than that bird crap, a few sticks, the bed's really nice. Tight there, shutting the bed, coming down the side. Come off. It's actually in pretty good shape. Digging the paint job too. I like the schemes. I'm a fan of the patina style I think it's different some people don't like it some people like really shiny paint which you know who doesn't like shiny paint for one but being different is uh, the key there that's why we like the old cars but it is two inches though a little old seal there Pitting there on your rear light on your cab. Pretty straightforward on this one. Let's go ahead and open the interior up, look around, see what else we can find. The button was a little bit stiff there. Like I said, greasing up everything would go a long way. Your armrest has got a few little cracks. Glue it to 
bottom there. You can see where that's been repaired. Carpet in this one is in pretty good shape. Seal's been redone around the door, the weather strip in there. The seat. Little hole back here. Missing the cover too. A couple more holes over there where they had something screwed in. Gas tank looks fairly new. Seat on this back was pretty clean, other than the dash here. It's got some age to it. Missing the pedal there. Driving with a nub. Down with the hood, comes down quite smooth. Make sure it was shut. I don't want that thing coming up. Engine's sitting a little high in the corner there. All right, guys. Like I said, next week I'll get back to making the videos the regular way that I do. This week I just have a lot to do in one day, so it's not uh, it's not actually possible to do it the other way, and I don't even know if it's possible to get them all done today. But I can get as many as I can, and I will be back on Monday making the regular videos that I normally do. But I'm taking off with a wife. We're going to Florida while everybody's going uh, to Gatlinburg, so much needed time together. Detail pictures, financing, and shipping. MapleMotors.com And again, I thank you for watching. I'll see you later.